So for our first hour uh, focus on lecture session. So kita nak buat apa? 2.0 ni design a solution. Kita nak tengok dulu 2.1c. Which is today I'm going to explain to all of you each control structure and their respective purposes. Okay. Then baru kita go back to 2.1a. Ha, sebab bila kita dah tahu dia punya purposes baru kita boleh design ataupun create our algorithm uh, dengan uh, betul lah. Okay. Next. Highlight of this lecture. Apa yang nak highlight kan? The first one is control structure uh, ada tiga kategori. Sequence, selection ataupun repetition. Repetition itu nama lain dia looping. Looping control structure. So based on each of the question, we have three types of control structure. Okay, three types of control structure. Sequence, selection and repetition. And number two, kita akan cuba design a solution which is nak design a solution ini kita guna algoritm. Dan algoritm itu terdiri daripada sudukut dan juga flowchart. Okay so bila problem datang kita nak solve problem tersebut kita boleh gunakan sudukut flowchart. Design solution ni step berapa? Step kedua. Cikgu yang IPO tu itu step one. Problem analysis. Problem analysis kalau soalan minta buat problem analysis you buatlah problem analysis. Problem analysis belajar kat mana cikgu? Belajar kat tutorial session. Dekat uh, kuliah belajar apa cikgu? Step tu. Tu pun secara surface sahaja. Design of solution. Which is we call as algorithm. Algorithm ada dua. Sudukut dan juga flowchart. Kan? Ada perbezaan kan? Sama uh, sudukut ini dia lebih kepada English statement. Kalau uh, kalau uh, flowchart ini dia lebih kepada uh, logical representation dari segi diagram dan seterusnya. Okay? Next, kita nak tengok control structure. Bismillah. Control structure is a block of programming that analyze, analyze variables and chooses a direction in which to go based on the given parameter. So this is a uh, control, uh, control structure lah. So control structure ni uh, adalah a part of programming lah. Dan dia akan direct you. Sebenarnya uh, kita nak selesaikan macam mana? Perlu ada pengulangan ke? Ataupun ada pemilihan ke? Okay. Itu adalah control structure. So it shows the logical order of a program instruction. Contoh kita kata it start with start. Lepas start nak buat apa? Read. Lepas read adakah dia calculate saja ke? Lepas tu dia print ke? Lepas tu dia kena buat hmm, ada pilihan ke? If ke? Stop. Ha, macam tu lah. Dia adalah logical order. Control structure I used to control which instruction to be executed next. Lepas read, calculate. Ataupun lepas read, uh, buat selection. Lepas read, buat repetition dan seterusnya. Okay. So that is control structure. So there are three types of control structure which is the first one is uh, tak nampak sangat ni tapi sequence control structure sequence control structure series of statement that execute one action after another in order maksud dia dia buat satu statement satu statement dan juga dia follow order tapi kalau selection control structure dia ada branch macam branch lah pokok-pokok which is used to de determine uh, which of two different statements to be executed depending on certain condition. Okay, contoh macam ni. Start. Okay, dia kata start kan. Read gender. Read gender kan. If gender adalah F, So print, katakan dia print lah. Print female. Else, print male. Tu maksud dia, uh, dia ada two different statement. Mungkin bukan two sahaja, mungkin ada lebih different statement. Three possible dan seterusnya. Dan dia akan depends on certain condition. Condition dia ni lah, inilah condition. Selepas perkataan if, ini we call as condition. 
color sequence very simple. Sequence very simple. Katakan red, uh, start dulu, start. Red radius, terus calculate area. Apa formula area? Print area. Stop. Macam tu lah. Color selection dia lain sikit. Sebab kita ada condition. It de depends on certain condition. Tetapi repetition, statement is used to repeat statement while certain conditions is met. So dia akan repeat statement tersebut sehingga condition kita ini uh, sampai dah uh, apa dia melaksanakan condition sehingga tamat lah. Itu maksud dia. Repetition. Okay. Uh, untuk control selection kita ada sequence, selection, repetition. Repetition ada counter control dan juga sentinel control. Okay ni control selection. Ada satu, ada dua, ada tiga. Dan untuk repetition pula ada dua lagi. Next kita pergi secara detail. Sequence. Instruction in sequence. Instruction in sequence programming are executed sequentially one by one. Follow root saja. Lepas next, calculate next, calculate next, calculate next. Okay, itu adalah sequence. The sequence structure direct the computer to process the instruction one after another in order listed in the program. Semua in order. Okay. Apa purpose dia? Use when want to execute code line by line and then kita boleh perform an action or task and then perform the next in action in order. Satu action, seterusnya next action dan seterusnya sampai tamat. Okay, example of problem. Example of problem. So kita ada kat sini calculate area of circle based on radius and third. Dekat sini soalan very clear. Calculate area of circle based on radius and third. So kita nak cari apa? Area of circle. Nak yang benda nak cari ni akan jadi output lah kan. Apa input dia? Radius and third. Radius and third. And third. Dia dah bagi tahu radius and third. So yang ni adalah input. Very clear. So kat sini kita dah dapat dalam kepala kita kita tahu oh okay kita ada benda yang step biasa sahaja kita akan read apa dan seterusnya calculate apa print apa. Okay number tu. Calculate total amount to be paid by a customer. Seorang so, customer eh. By a customer. At mini market that sell tomatoes. The price is RM3.50 Uh, 50 cent per kilo. So kita nak cari apa? Total amount to be paid. Ataupun kita tulis variable yang kita faham payment je. Ataupun total payment pun boleh. Input dia apa? Input, input dia adalah kilogram. Ataupun tomato kg. Boleh? KG tomato boleh? Faham? Ha, input kita. Ha, contohlah. So nanti kita akan buat next, next, next terus ni lah. Okay ini contoh soalan. Kita nak 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 beritahu dekat you all. Ini contoh soalan sequence. Dia kata apa? Seorang customer. Ini keyword-keyword dia lah. Ini area of circle. Dia tak bagi tahu pun 10 ke apa tak ada. Dia bagi tahu area of circle sahaja. Kita tahu satu je lah area of circle yang kita kena cari. Yang ni Bayaran untuk seorang customer. Okay, kita tengok pula selection. 